So, yeah, this happened. I think this is really awful. And mainly the reason I do not go to events. I haven't gone to a Magic event since Magic Fest or Grand Prix Houston. Maybe five, seven years ago. And, yeah, uh, I'm not ever going to go to any Magic Con. I think it's a waste of my time. And honestly, a, a terrible experience. It seems like everyone's having a bad experience there. So let me read you Nicole. Nicole is taking a break from Magic. Finished writing up what happened to me on Sunday at MC Chicago. But here's the shortened version. RE misgendering during the judge call in a casual event. There was a language barrier. And I was already not feeling good from the murder mystery game stuff and wasn't in the headspace to advocate for myself. So, yeah. Uh, what was the mystery event that had her, had her shook up? I participated in the murder mystery game during which I was aggressively misgendered by almost every person in the game. Except for the wonderful Bujalaja Gaming, it was so bad that Kelsey Wiley stopped the game to ask players to use she, her when talking to me. Didn't matter. The other people in the game continued to do so for half an hour until I left because the unknown event was starting. My first opponent in the unknown event was an older woman who was quite friendly to start, but during a judge call kept calling me a young man. That is just unacceptable. Um, I, I honestly didn't realize uh, uh, this was an issue until I read this. So my first opponent in the unknown event was an older woman. Was her name Teresa Nielsen, perhaps? I mean, why not? I mean, hey, let's throw Teresa Nielsen in here. Older woman. Who was quite friendly to start, but during a judge call, call kept calling me a young man. I told her I used she, her pronouns, and she did not respond to my request. Later, during a more complicated judge call, how many, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really play competitive magic, but back when I played, uh, we, I mean, I, I played a whole event, and I never called a judge. Like, what type of decks are they playing here? <laughs> complicated decks. Later, during a more complicated judge call, she calls her son on her phone and starts talking to him about me again with the young man and tells him to join her at the table. I'm just like floored. So forget all this stuff, right? I mean, I'm floored that there is a older woman. And I'm floored that like her son is also playing at this event, apparently. He shows and, and then you had two judge calls on the first person you called. Right? I mean, it's what in the first game you play. Um, and what the hell is an unknown event? Is that the name of the. There's so many weird things happening in Magic Con. I just say we got to boycott the Magic Con guys. Just don't give them your money. It's been my solution to this pr problem all along is just drain Hasbro of their money and eventually they will have to change. And tells him to join her at the table. He shows up and they start talking about me again. This is very bizarre. I mean, I I cannot imagine. I've played a lot of Magic. i played way more Magic than Nicole or any of these individuals at Magic Con. I'm one of the OGs. One of the first YouTubers, Magic YouTubers in existence. And I can tell you I've never had a situation where like it's like... Because I don't know. It's like concluding like you, you uh, maybe one gives them i don't know i tell them i use she her pronouns and to stop calling me young man it was like i was talking to a concrete wall i eventually win the game and immediately go find a judge i start talking to this judge about what happened in the match and i did just break down sobbing i'm so grateful for Kawaii right for consoling me and seth Oral for taking talking with me afterwards this ruined my day and it was only salvaged by celebrating my friends winning tournaments in the pro tour hall so i didn't have to go back into the main hall for a very long and got to spend the rest of the day around supportive friends celebrating the gatherings off off site 
My big takeaway is I'm not just going to play magic with people I do not know at a convention. That's the same with me. Nicole, I agree with you. I don't play with no strangers. I just play with my friends at home. I don't have to deal with this type of stuff, right? Uh, judges and whatnot. I, I'll continue to play in large, competitive, real row events because there's a different level of respect among the competitors and actual repercussions for this kind of behavior. If I go to Vegas and there's another unknown event, you bet I'll be seeking out friends to battle because I'm not putting up with this ever again. Uh, and then there's some comments, you know, I'm sorry, you know, this is awful. Um, we can, are they still in Vegas? No, they're in Chicago. They want to go to Vegas, right? I'm proud of you for stand, standing your ground, asking for respect. It's hard to do. I think more judges need to be aware. I think you got to just fire and put all the judges in prison, man. I feel the same way. We have exactly the same enemies. Magic the Gathering judges, Nicole. Like your biggest supporter. Just don't know it. So anyway, back to the very, very bizarre, right? I mean, incredibly bizarre situation. Uh, I have never seen anything like this. And uh, to be honest, um, does it make sense? No. I, I don't know what's happening here. This is just mind-blowing, right? My mind is totally blown, right? So, back to uh, this drama. I, too, do not want to be caught in this situation. I don't want to misgender somebody. Um, it, it, I mean, this older woman, like Nicole said, was friendly, but then, you know, she might have been, you know, not of this generation, if you will. So, maybe she was older. Maybe her son was also from a different country. It seemed like they were from a different country because later on, Nicole says uh, this after, like, she was done this post. Uh, misgendering during judge call in a casual event, there was a language barrier, and I was already not feeling good from the murder, and I wasn't able to advocate. Uh, advocate for myself. And, yeah, man, I mean, Magic Gathering ain't safe for nobody no more, man. The, the solution is just don't attend events and don't buy cards. That is my solution to this problem. Uh, I have implemented said, so, I mean, Fallout is really, I love Fallout. Am I going to buy Fallout? I am really want to. My friend already bought it, and I already put an order for it, but my friend said, I'll just eat your order if you don't want it. Um, but I think it's going to go up in price, so you know, there's a lot of factors that encourage me to buy this set. But in the same atmosphere, I definitely don't uh, encourage misgendering and I don't encourage any of this type of behavior. And I think the safest place is to just stay at your home, man. And play with a bunch of friends. Like, I, like, if we were to go out, like, one of my friends is, like, massively drunk, right? He just, like, sushi and gets drunk all the time. Uh, he doesn't even like magic. He just wants to hang out. Um, yeah, we say some pretty raunchy stuff. And that might offend people. So we just stay home. No, we don't want to offend anyone. I mean, we don't want to be cancel cultured. Many, all four of us own businesses, um, so it's important for us not to be cancel cultured. So I think that's kind of my strategy. I, I'm implementing really well. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about this event. I think this is a very disturbing event, and I definitely don't think anyone should ever have to deal with it. The language barrier being what it is, countries, different countries having different cultures, right? Like, if this was Russia, it would be a very different situation. But it is, I mean, obviously Chicago, right? Very diverse population of individuals. Anyway, let me know what you guys think.